Greetings commanders. In this video I'm going to show a way of picking up guardian materials, the orbs, the caskets and whatnot, without using the SRV, just using a ship. I will demonstrate it in both light and dark conditions and I will also explain the best method if you have a fleet carrier and try to provide options for those that do not have fleet carriers. Hope the information is useful. It definitely saves a lot of time rather than scooping with the buggy and then transferring the four cargo back to the ship and then driving back around and picking up four more and if you're using horizons you would be limited to only two in the cargo. So scooping with the ship in a much more efficient way. So let's get started. So you need to collect some guardian objects for a community goal. Well, first you gotta find places called ancient ruins. And if you just do a Google search for guardian ancient ruins, there's a bunch of uh, sites, websites that have lists of where you can find these. Then you gotta fly to the system. It's a, uh, most of the ones are at least a thousand light years outside of the bubble. Once you get to the system, try to find one that's in the light. It'll make it much easier. But you can't do it in the dark. You just can't use super easy method that I'm gonna show you if it's in the dark side of the planet. If you have a fleet carrier, I would recommend this ship or another small ship relatively with a short nose compared to where the cargo scoop is. The Corvette would be terrible for this. Anaconda would be terrible for this. If you don't have a fleet carrier, uh, you can try any of the larger ships that have a short nose. Now when you get closer to these sites, you'll notice something that starts to pop out. Little white spots. Let me get over to the center here. And this is why I say daylight's the best. As you look over the site, you can see the white spots and that shows the location of all of the things that you can pick up. So is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That one's not glowing white right now. Fourteen. So some sites have sixteen, some have fourteen. But anyway, you can kind of see when you get closer, you will see the see the white spots where the objects are that you can pick up. So I try and start in the same spot each time once you get to a site you can familiarize yourself with it kind of come up with a pattern. And then it's just a matter of putting all of your pips into shields. I mean if you're if you're well engineered you don't really have to worry about it too much. And then what you got to do, kind of, I try to stay mostly level on these things. Come in slow. Once you get close enough, you will be able to target it. Then just fly up, keeping it in the center of your cargo reticle, and bam. Sometimes it'll show a slight misalignment, but don't worry about it. As long as you're mostly there. Oops, too much. I guess I can I could take some things out of the engines to kind of slow me down a bit. 
You don't need a lot of super maneuverability on this. And even if you can't see it, fly close and you'll you'll see it pop up on your center hollow. Then you can target it. Just fly right through the rocks. They don't care. Come in. Kind of level out a little bit. Target it. If if you don't have a fleet carrier, see yeah that was that was kind of wonky. I bumped it closer to the to the wall, but was still able to angle slightly. So with the larger ship, you may have to skip some of these, but it doesn't matter. There's enough in the wide open areas that it make it worth your while, because obviously you won't be able to be dropping off at the fleet carrier. Oops, wrong button. So you'll need to pick up as much as you can in a larger ship, fly to turn in, and then come back. But yeah, that's basically the principle. Just uh, fly close enough till it appears that you can target it. And just boop, right over. And even if you can't, if you're in a larger ship and you can't get all of the the ones that are kind of creviced in the corners, still way quicker than hopping into that buggy. Now when I came out, I actually left the buggy and I didn't get the extra cargo rack. I could have got an extra four because I had not done this in Odyssey yet so I wasn't sure if they changed anything nope it's still still like it was in Horizons that's why I love this ship this is primarily the only ship I've used since Odyssey came out I'm just going to pick all these up and then do a relog just so you can see that the relog in Odyssey does work. And just so you can see them in Odyssey. There we go. There's my Odyssey loadout. So it's still time consuming for these CGs, but way easier than scooping, scooping, and then I think I, did I already get all these? See, I'm talking so I'm not, uh, not keeping track, I think, no, I did not. I got a couple left. I know I got at least two in the center section. See, sometimes they'll... There we go. <laughs> Just keep rolling. Eventually it gets in there. There should be two... this tricky one first. I just wanted to show that this could be done and maybe maybe this helps somebody. 
save some time. There's a floating. This one's not as challenging because you've got the, if you line it up with the canyon here. Sure, because I said that. Nope. So normally I don't have that much of a problem, but of course I'm recording, so. But that, that kind of stuff will happen. And even if you bump it and destroy it, no big deal. So, we've got how many now? we got 14, which is what I think is at this particular site. So we will log, and I'll show you they'll be right back. See, these sites have between 14 and 16. So when you're configuring your, your cargo, I mean, in multiples of that, does it really, if you're halfway between another one, for me, it's not worth the relog just to pick up half, but maybe, maybe the way you work, that makes sense too. So in some multiples, 16, 32, whatnot, See, you can even see from here that the the object is outside of where the uh, thing is. And maybe what I'll do now, after this... Maybe I'll fly to a, a site that's in the dark, just to show you. See, so the scoop extends pretty far down on this, so I don't have to be super close to an object to scoop it. Okay, so if you find yourself flying up to a situation like this, the only sight you have in the system is in the dark. Let's see how this plays out with the ship scoop method. Okay, so clearly this will be a little different because you can't see the white spots. And some of the objects that seem to be highlighted are actually structural. They're not the little orb and casket things. So. See, I do see a little flicker, so let's test this out here. That may be an object. It is okay so they do appear to shimmer but it's gonna be it's not gonna be as quick so let's drop this let's turn the lights on actually 
country. I don't know if the light is going to help. See, because now we've got things like rocks, rocks glowing. So that may be more useful. Yeah, may be more useful without that on. And this is a different type of sight. So now. Perhaps they may glow. It looks like they glow enough that you can make a pretty... As you're flying around slowly, you should be able to identify them. Not quite as easy as the other ones, because see, we have things like that, just regular rocks that end up giving a little bit of a glow. But I suppose once you do a couple rotations, as with anything, you will kind of remember where they all spawn. Yeah, they, they seem to stick out all right. I'm not having too much trouble, and this is a different layout than I've been to in a very long time. Yeah, see, I can see it all the way over there. I just have to go slow when you do it in the dark because there could be one that you almost miss if you're going too fast. So I try to just keep going in one direction, either always clockwise or for some reason I tend to go counterclockwise on these sites always I don't know why I just do but I think as long as you're systematic in and looking down in the little corners here I think that's one and there may be one to my left as well or did I already get this one? And maybe I already got that one. Yeah. Right, so there's one up there, it looks like, and one, let's get this one down here. Two down here, actually, it looks like. One's a floaty, one's in the middle of the rocks. So, yeah, this is not, it is not too difficult in the dark. So still still doable, but makes it a little bit more difficult, which is why you should always have all your peps in the shields like I failed to do on that time. So you get the general idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep recording, but certainly don't have to watch to the end because you kind of see where I'm going with this. It can be done in the dark. I prefer the light because it does help with the uh, terrain orientation and whatnot. And of course my night vision colors have been modified so with the green it might be a little easier. test this whole site in the using the ship scoop method. Now the objects out to the side, those are brain trees. They they tend to glow up from from a little bit of a distance. Don't be distracted by them and fly out there. There's nothing to pick up out there. Everything to pick up will be close to the site. And sometimes they tuck them in around the corner, so I try to go all the way around the outside, and then I will go to the, there's usually a center structure always, either it's sunken or raised. This one is the Colosseum sunken kind of thing. But if I had to do this CG in a buggy, I would probably not do this CG. But 
I'm lazy. Some people might think it's fun to fly around and scoop up with the buggy. It's, that's fine. You can do that. Okay, so it's all right, it looks like it's the same thing, only a different layout. So there's going to be one up here. So it's like the other site that's not sunken. There's two in this general area. One up here, and then one down at the bottom in the center. And looks like that one rolled away. I think that's off to the side. So once you do it a couple times, you'll you'll quickly be able to identify the ones that have kind of wandered away from their nest. And sometimes it makes it easier. So how many do we have here? We have 12. I'm not convinced that that's all of them. So we'll, we'll do a little attempt to try and find something that I missed. Okay, I can see one over here that I missed already. I think I've already double checked that pile twice, but we'll, we'll fly over it just to be sure. Yeah, there's nothing there. I've gotten that one. But this one was tucked in the corner that I flew by, obviously. I'm I still think there's one more hiding somewhere is it worth flying around looking for let's do it I'm not in a not in a hurry oh what is that that might be that might be number 14 that's in a different kind of spot there next to the Maybe that's why I missed it. Alright, so a larger ship might have trouble with that given the close proximity to the obelisks there. Well, we've got 14, but I was pretty sure that I got more than that at one of these sites in the past. In any event, 14 is a is a good haul for a mode switch. So as you see, it, it can be done in the dark. A debug cam is of no help here. But this site is the one with the sunken coliseum. I don't know what else to call it. So I know there's at least two different variations, maybe more. Yeah, I hope this uh, helped. Maybe make it a little bit easier or less daunting to come out and do a CG with or without a fleet carrier. And you're just honestly, you're gonna if you don't have a fleet carrier, you're gonna have to test different different types of ships out here and see which ones work for you. I know I've done it in an Orca. I know I've done it in a Dolphin. I've done it in this. I've done it in a crate. The crate's a little wide, so it. It's uh, a little difficult. Okay, so that's basically it. A little bit easier way to pick up Guardian stuff. Definitely a lot quicker than using the buggy, scooping four or only two if you're in Horizons at a time, going to the ship, transferring the cargo, and then driving all over the site. So, you got a fleet carrier, pick yourself a nice small ship. Max it out with cargo. But if you don't have a fleet carrier, then take a larger ship out and test it out and see. And that way you'll know when the next CG comes up what kind of large ship works for you. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Fly safe. No seven.